Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim. I am a reader and a knitter and today is Vlogmas Day 19. For Vlogmas, I am reading and reviewing a short story each day from the Hingston and Olsen Advent Calendar, as well as unwrapping a mini skein of yarn from Polka Dot Creek's calendar and updating you with my knitting progress. So thank you for joining me and let's find out what I will be reading, reviewing and knitting today. So today's short story is called Private Hands by Michael Lapointe. And he is the author of The Creep, uh, published in 2021. Uh, and he was a columnist with the Paris Review. He lives in Toronto. This was uh, originally, oh, it originally appeared in the Wal Walrus, which is a great um, journal, in 2021. So very interested to read Michael Lapointe for the first time. And Advent Calendar, Happy Everything, Day 19, and it's wrapped in one of my favorite colors. This certainly has been a colorful year, or a colorful everyday calendar. And this is a very, very bright blue. And it is called Blueberry. And in fact, it does look like blueberries. So I am going to get reading and knitting and I will report back to you when I have some thoughts. I have to say that the imagery in this short story is wonderful. But let's get to the plot and structure first. So this is really a tale about the struggle for self-realization. It's set in San Francisco and uh, Montreal and Missouri, but I'll explain that in a couple of minutes. Uh, so it is told in the first person from the perspective of a personal assistant who helps sell Disney and rock uh, memorabilia to millionaires. Now, Harvey is his employer and the owner of this business, and he wants to sell a guitar that Hendrix played. But the millionaire, whose name is Paul, is interested in a different one. And the guitar was played by our own played and owned by uh, a gentleman called Abel Jasper in the 1920s, so during the uh, Depression. Now, the guitar isn't authenticated, so they can't sell it until they find out its story and they're able to confidently say that this was Abel Jasper's guitar. So the PA, uh, whose name we never learn, uh, um, is sent all over North America following the story of this guitar. Now, while this is happening, there are flashbacks to the narrator's, uh, narrator's history, and it turns out that Harvey, the owner, isn't a very generous employer, um, and the narrator can't make ends meet. In fact, um, Harvey often takes advantage of the narrator. And in fact, everyone in the narrator's life seems to use him for their own good. Now, the narrator goes off to different places to try to authenticate the guitar. And the first place he goes to, he talks to the creator of a now defunct um, museum called the Museum of the Dandelion, where the guitar was the prominent um, uh, piece on display. And I absolutely loved the image of the dandelion and yellow fl flower that is um, in this book. I will remember it for many times to come. So he writes, the dandelion is the people's flower, Martin explained, that's the curator of the museum. Common, unwanted on the tycoon's lawn, riding the rails one day, Jasper saw the sun rise over a whole field of dandelions, and he beheld the yellow fire he's singing about. You hear? And the whole aspect of this image of the yellow fire and the fact that a dandelion scene um, seed is it exactly like a drifter, which Jasper was, and who the narrator is right now as well, and how the seed can spread and spark up a, a yellow fire and encourage a man. 
give a man courage, essentially. So that is absolutely astoundingly well done. This makes the entire short story worth the read. Um, now, as um, he's traveling, the narrator begins to listen to Jasper's music and begins to connect with it and begins to understand Jasper's message. And Jasper's timeline also correlates in a really interesting way with the narrators because Jasper was singing and drifting all over the southern U.S. during the Depression. So he had no home, he had no belongings, he had no money, which is very much what the narrator is struggling with. Now, I won't give away the title of the story because it is tied in with the ending, but it's lovely. Um, the ending was not at all what I expected or what I hoped for, but in the end, this was a really good short story, and it made my morning, so you can't ask more than that. As for my knitting, I'll put some footage of the blanket so far. I am really enjoying all the different new colors that are going into Stripe One. Now there are 31 different skeins uh, for this advent calendar. And for this pattern, I will run out of yarn from Polka Dot Creek. But what's really nice about this is it's a scrappy kind of project. So anytime that you have little ends or uh, little ends from other projects, you can include this with uh, in this um, project. So that's a nice way to use up yarn that you don't know what to do with, but that you absolutely love. So thank you so much for spending your time with me. Please like and subscribe and comment below. I have linked my Patreon account in the description box below. And if you want to put a tip in a tip jar, that would be great. So I will leave you with some of my favorite things from the lake. And I hope to see you for Vlogmas Day 20. We're almost at Christmas. Bye.